Hello everyone, this is Roberto Matthews with another quick tip for you. Again, today we don't have a quick tip, but more of a tutorial. Um, it's again about the Moby Rise uh, website creation program. I'm really starting to like this, especially with um, the information about Delta Pi Code Editor, which has been a game changer for me. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be uh, another one of a list of tutorials uh, that's going to show little things that you can do with the code editor. So today what we're going to add to our code editor is this little uh, gallery that I created. So uh, I'm not going to, if you want a tutorial on how I created this little gallery, um, just let me know in the comment section and I would be more than happy to go step by step on line by line how I created it. But suffice it to say that what I did here was I created a modal. So no matter what you click on comes up in the modal. I have a nice white background. Uh, I also have a next and previous button here. It fades between each one of the uh, photos. And when you get to the last photo, of course, it re uh, cycles here and then uh, you know have you know just a basic uh, modal here I also have this little uh, desaturated and blurred out photos and then when you hover over them they come to full focus and they also come into full color depth um, that's just regular CSS I also have here that um, it'll change of course with media queries it'll change uh, what the sizes of the photos are okay um, again if you really want to know how I did this just let me know but what this tutorial is going to be is how to integrate your own code even as complicated as this modal into your uh, mobilized site so uh, once again we're going to talk about our extensions so the extension that we downloaded here was the Delta Pi, oh, of course, this does that, the Delta Pi code editor, which is completely free. And I'm also going to be using the Delta page settings. What the Delta page settings does is it allows you to go into your site and actually put some head information or some footer information, which is actually right before the body tag and this head information which goes within the head tag, okay? Also, you can go into the actual page itself and you can go inside the head code for just this page or the end of the body code for, this, for just this page. And of course, uh, you can add page description and all that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our extension of the code editor and we're going to drag let's just put it um, let's just put it right here we're going to drag that into there and now when we click to see what we have all we have is the image of that placeholder okay now um, we're just going to go ahead and click and drag so let's go ahead and do the first part now, the reason I use this uh, code editor is for a couple of reasons. Um, code, this, uh, the code pen allows me to use Emmet, which is a really, really, really fast way of inputting my HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So um, I really like using this. So we're just going to go ahead and say uh, select all and then copy. Okay. And then we're going to bring it over to here select all here and paste and here is our gallery okay so when we go to the gallery of course it's not really formatted at all and so we just get our pictures okay very good so then the next part is the CSS now here's the situation the CSS for the mobilize you can actually add CSS to the head section like I showed you earlier or you can even add it uh, within here which is not recommended because then it would be inside the body you can actually just put here your style look at me trying to do Emmett and 
and add your style this way. But uh, you don't want to do that because then it would be in your body tag and then your code would be kind of messed up. So the only way that I can see, uh, because this this has custom CSS, but it doesn't really work very well. I'll show you in a second. Let's go ahead and uh, add our CSS. Let's start right here. Okay, so we're gonna copy and then we're going to paste this here. Okay. So now we have our custom CSS in the side panel here, and we're going to say OK. So as you can see, it gives me this JSON uh, syntax error. The reason that happens is because, unfortunately, um, you can't really add the CSS. Notice how it deleted the CSS. You can't really add the CSS that way. You have to add it as JSON code. So <clears throat> if I were to add it, as CSS this way, let's just go ahead and add it in the code this way. Okay, and then we say okay. You actually get it, but uh, again, when we say preview here, Let's go to our code here. Let's go right here. We're going to view the code. And here's our CSS stuck inside the body tag, which isn't really good. So let's go ahead and add the style tags to before this. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our code here. We're going to delete all this. So let's go from here. Where's the end of style? Here you go. And then we're going to cut it this time. Okay. And now we're going to go. There it is. Now we're going to go to our page. And edit the page. And now we have our style tags inside the head tag. Now that's where it's supposed to be properly. But as you can see, it doesn't show up here. But again, if I go to the preview here, then it's the proper thing, the proper formatting. And if I do the view page source, style is in the proper location in the head. Okay, so now you have your formatting. So, of course, the only disadvantage is that you can't see your styling, what's actually happening in your styling. Okay? So, that's your disadvantage. You can't see the actual styling unless you use JSON. Now, if you're interested in using JSON, there's an awesome app here. Convert CSS to JSON. And you can actually... I gotta make sure I take off these style tags. And there you have it. And if we hit format here, this is the JSON of the gallery, but uh, of the CSS. But as you can see, it still has some issues. The issue is that real JSON actually uses the the ID tag. So you'd have to go through each one of the ID tags and add the ID tag, which can be a hassle, especially if you, have, if you have a long list here. There's also other issues, but we won't get into that. So that's an uh, that's just an idea. That's just something you could do. But for now, I think using the the actual um, 
the actual page editor that allows you to get into the head and end of the body code works because this is what we're going to actually use put our jQuery now what's great about um, this editor this mobilize editor is that if we go to the actual to the actual page here and and set page view page source if I went to jQuery you can see that it already uses jQuery in the actual site so all I have to do is add my jQuery code so let's go to select all copy we're gonna come over here we're going to go to the page we're going to go down here to the end of the body code and add a script now suffice it to say that if you want to have your own uh, js uh, js file instead of adding it uh, line by line in the body you would actually add your file you would upload the file to your server and then you would reference it here so now we've pasted it you can see we've pasted it in here okay and so now that we've pasted it when we go back and now click preview now you won't be able to uh, actually use the jQuery unless you uh, preview it or upload it so let's go ahead and preview it and as you can see it fully functions now where did my X go now that is one of those things that you need to um, check this banner up here is uh, a sticky banner which means that it is uh, fixed when you go up okay when you scroll down it'll be fixed and in our CSS we're going to find the actual uh, Z index of everything let's go over here to our code editor we're going to find the Z index and instead of 10 we're going to put we're going to add 2000 to that so let's go to each one of these and just add 2000 so that we are going to make sure that we're in front of our of everything that's inside um, mobilize okay so that should be everything okay so now we're going to select all of this again copy and then we're going to select all here and paste and now when we update and we select one of our pictures here voila everything is right on top of of our of everything actually okay and so let's check it on uh, our mobile page let's go ahead to inspect let's go to phone or responsive and as you can see all the CSS actually works and we have a responsive photo here and it's responsive either even if you are in portrait mode okay or sorry landscape mode so that's basically how you add uh, your own panel with a modal for your uh, mobilize site if you have any other questions please let me know uh, don't forget to click uh, the bell and subscribe or actually reverse right subscribe and click the bell 
that way as i update every every so often i'm going to give you more information on what you can do with mobilize now using the new delta pi code editor thank you very much